Okay, Manchester United have announced that Eric Tan Hag will be the permanent replacement for Ralph Rannick. He is going to be their next manager from next season. He signed a three-year deal. He's obviously left Ajax in pretty healthy shape. Uh, he's going to be finishing the season with Ajax before taking on the reins at Old Trafford. He's done two League and Cup doubles in his time at Ajax. He uh, got to a Champions League semi-final. But he's never coached in England before. And that could be a problem. Um, but he does have a pretty good CV. Uh, the Dutch league is, is a reasonably competitive league. It's not on the same standard it was 30 years ago. But the Dutch league continues to produce top quality talent. Uh, that you know, and, and Dutch football continues to produce top quality talent that will goes across most of the European leagues um, he does want to get Steve McLaren as his assistant uh, so Mike Phelan the last remaining assistant from the Ferguson era looks likely to be out the club in the summer uh, and Ten Hag has, has consistently stated in interviews and in press conferences that if he was to get the role he would be doing a massive clear out of coaching and playing and playing staff so look for a big turnover of, of the playing squad the Pogba situation I, I can see him just releasing Pogba on a free uh, and just cutting their losses with Pogba. Uh, the Ronaldo signing, I don't think they'll be signing him for another year. Cavani, could he be on the way out? He's been very good for a free transfer, but he's, he's getting on a bit. Harry Maguire, what, what's the situation with Maguire? Does he stay? Does he go? Um, does he remain captain? Can Eric Ten Hag work with Maguire to improve his confidence? Because that's completely gone to pieces. His confidence is gone. Uh... There are other issues. I think they're going to be very, very busy in the transfer market. How much money will the Glazers give him to spend? Uh, and he's, he's got a three-year contract with an option of a, a fourth-year extension. So, hopefully they give him time. Uh, I think the fans need to be realistic in their expectations. Um, it is going to be a rebuilding job. He's, he's basically stated from when he was linked with the job, when talks began, this is going to be a rebuilding job. There is going to be a squad overhaul. Now... Can he fix Marcus Rashford's confidence? Can he fix Jesse Lingard's confidence and keep Jesse Lingard a bit more consistent? Because at West Ham, Lingard was brilliant. Um, before he went on loan at West Ham, he was he was really struggling for form, confidence and a place in the side. He has been better since returning from West Ham, but he's still not on the West Ham level that he had at the second half of last season. Donny van der Beek. They spent a lot of money to get him from Ajax. He hasn't settled into the United system. Eric Ten Hag was his manager at Ajax. Does he remain at Everton on a permanent deal? Or do they recall him from loan and say, look, we want to invest in you. You're going to be a key playmaker for us. You're going to be a key creative player for us. We're going to get pieces around you. So it's going to be interesting what he does. What is another interesting stat is their fifth permanent manager. And if you count the interims, I think they've had seven managerial appointments since Ferguson retired. That's nearly a manager a season. In the nine seasons since... You know, that, that's a manager every season and a half. That's quite a bit of managerial turnover. It's 18 months a manager. That's no stability. That's no way to, to build a culture and build a philosophy and a style of play. Uh, I think Van Gaal had the best run of it. I think Mourinho obviously had won the better trophy with the Europa League. But the squad division started appearing under Mourinho. They festered under Solskjaer. And ultimately, they've continued under Ranić. So it's a divided dressing room. Uh, there's some big egos in there, uh, there's some overpaid players in there, and there's been some really bad transfer deals in there as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Also, as part of the aftermath of the 4-0 defeat uh, to Liverpool, is the Chief Scout and Chief uh, uh, Recruitment uh, Operator Officer have both resigned from the club. They both quit. They've gone. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what who else Ranić brings in in his backroom staff. He wants a complete clear out of backroom staff. He wants to bring... Prefer preferably Steve McLaren in uh, as his assistant because he knows the English game and I don't think that's actually a bad idea uh, if he's available um, and we'll see what happens uh, but someone like a Roy Keane actually could be pretty good as an assistant um, from his time at the club and he has also you know managed in English football in, in the Premier League Championship and League One so there are options on the table but he wants to completely restructure the coaching setup have a massive squad to clear out. I would ex I would hope Man United fans actually have a bit of tempered expectation with, with Ten Hag. This is a rebuilding season next season. If they overachieve, that could actually prove problematic down the line. I think they need to build, build a culture and a, and a philosophy, much like Klopp did at Liverpool and to a certain extent Guardiola at City. Guardiola's first season at City, they finished eighth. So they need to give him time 
he's got a three year deal with the option of a fourth um, so in his favour to extend. They need to give him that three year period to rebuild the structures and the philosophy of the club. But there we go. Eric Tan Hag has been appointed as the next Manchester United manager. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts in the comment section below and I will have some more videos for you very, very soon.